Hello and welcome to this uh, quick video where I'm going to be uh, talking about two new features that are uh, coming to Compose Multiplatform. Um, well, the first one is Compose Hot Reload, which, uh, well, obviously, uh, as the name suggests, it will allow us to make changes to our app without needing to restart the app, basically, and uh, without losing state. So um, this is uh, still an incubating feed, an incubator. Uh, feature so it's not uh, um, really stable yet but uh, you can try it and I've been trying it in uh, in my day-to-day -day work and some of my projects and it uh, works really well actually it like works surprisingly well and I use it uh, quite a lot uh, recently so I'm gonna leave the link to the repository and the video description which has all the steps uh, that you need to use this but I also have a um, a repository with a pre-configured uh, project that I've used in one of my workshops before and you can directly uh, clone the, the repository and try out Hot Reload if you don't want to uh, implement all the steps yourself but I highly encourage you to <clears throat> at least if you want to clone the repository at least to check the uh, Hot Reload plugin version here because this one changes quite frequently and um, I do actually update the repository, but I might uh, not update it when you uh, want to try it out. So just make sure that uh, you have the latest version uh, of the plugin, as you see here. So uh, let me show you actually the setup, uh, all, this, all the things that you need to do here in uh, IntelliJ. But you can also like, do that in Android City, of course. Um, so you need to add the repository, uh, this Firework repository in uh, settings.gradle. So go to settings.gradle in your project and add this repository in uh, the plugin management repositories and also in dependency uh, resolution management in repositories. You can add this, uh, add the same one here. And also, uh, so I've added the uh, the plugin, the Compose Reload plugin here in my version catalog, as you can see here. And you need to use Kotlin version uh, 2.1.20 beta 2 or higher. Uh, so you can't use anything uh, before this and in our compose app in the build or gradle file we need to activate the compose hot reload plugin so you need to apply the plugin here and add this configuration to optimize skippable groups you need to add this flag uh, which also required and th this one is an optional step the uh, registering this uh, run hot tag uh, run hot task um, but this will basically allow you to be able to have a separate tasks uh, that is uh, that does hot reload and like you can run normally uh, using the other task so all you need to do is if you are doing this on your own project you need to make sure you change this to point to your own main kt file which is the same as this one you just go to the desktop configuration here just copy this if you created the project using the wizard the kmp wizard and paste it here and of course, I forgot to mention, but uh, this is currently a desktop, uh, works on desktop only. So Hot Reload only works on desktop. So if you need to try it, you need to, to have the desktop target uh, in your KMP project. And uh, yeah, so you can try it on desktop. And then like when you finish your editing, you can uh, run it and see it how and see how it looks on Android and iOS, at least for now. But as I said, this is like uh, very early. This is an incubating feature. So um, yeah. So here in desktop main, go to the main Kitty file and inside the window, you need to uh, wrap your UI with this development entry point block, which tells Compose Hot Reload that this is the entry for Hot Reload uh, to do its work. So like if you have like multiple windows, maybe you have another window and like uh, you don't want it to work on the first window because you like maybe it's like a, just a login screen or something like that, uh, you don't need to put it on the first one, you can just uh, put it on the second one. And yeah, that's it. So how can you try this, actually? So to try it, all you need to do is create a run configuration for it, which I already have done here. So let me show you, let me just click edit. And as you can see, um, just create a new run configuration. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, make sure it's a Gradle, uh, a Gradle configuration or a Gradle task. You know, click here plus and click Gradle. And for the task that you want to run, you make sure you use run hot as you can see here. And that's it. 
So if you click run, uh, the app will run in uh, Hot Reload mode. So we'll wait for a few seconds. Okay, so we have the desktop app here and it's running in Hot Reload. As you can see, we have this little icon here, which shows uh, only when you run in Hot Reload, uh, which is basically the tooling for Hot Reload. <coughs> As you can see, you can clean composition, you can try, retry failed compositions. <coughs> and you can see all the uh, logs here for the compiler. Um, so let's try do some Hot Reloading. Let me just resize this. Let me just resize my IntelliJ window first. So usually I have this on, a, on my second monitor, but for the purposes of this video, we can do that now. So like that. And let's go to app. So say that in our column, we basically may, maybe add an outline button on click. And here say text second button. Click Control S or Command S. And as you can see, this orange bar means that uh, Hot Reload is currently uh, triggered and it's processing and when the green bar shows up, means that uh, it reloaded, reload was successful. So as you can see, our button, our second button works. And if we do something like we change what the button does and do hot reload again. So right now it only shows the content and it doesn't toggle. And we can do all other kind of stuff. So uh, maybe we can change this to a row instead of a column. And this is going to be vertical alignment, like that. So let's reload. As you can see, uh, we now have a row instead of a, of a column. And uh, yeah, it works really, really well um, as far as I've tried it, uh, as I said. So that is um, hot reload. So actually, let me just do one more thing. So if you, if you for example, uh, let's intentionally make an error here and try to reload it will make this red bar if there is a problem. So uh, that's how you know that uh, something is uh, wrong. Uh, there's some error. So the second thing, let me just exit this. The second thing is compose a multi-platform preview. So um, this is also um, in a very early stage. It have on recently been added to the EIP version of IntelliJ, uh, which I I believe it stands for Elaxis Preview. So if you have JetBrains Toolbox, you can go to whatever version of IntelliJ you have, you click the three dots and go to other versions and you can find the EIP version there or you can just don't find it in the downloads page on uh, JetBrains website. But uh, let's see how that looks like. Let's actually open the same project here. So if we go, for example, to, let's go to the common main Kotlin app, as you can see here. And as you can see here, just like uh, in the Android source that we have, um, there's different options for showing code with the preview or just showing the preview only or the design, as you can see. And yeah, this updates um, in real time. So um, I think this needs to be updated here so let's click build and refresh okay so as you can see here uh the ui updated when we built the project again because it was like stuck on on the previous preview that i was trying but yeah this is just uh like the android uh the jetpack compose preview so you, you can click here and go to individual like composables and I can see all the, um, see an outline like all the like boundaries of the components on your screen. You can have, uh, you can start interactive mode like this, you can see. So interactive mode works. And you also have UI test mode, which is, yeah, yeah this UI check mode here, uh, which also work. Yeah, and you can also have uh, you can also start animation preview like this. Just preview your animation, just like you would do in Jetpack Compose. So I think this is really, really cool. And hopefully we can, um, soon we can have 
uh, more options to customize the preview. Uh, maybe we were adding uh, different parameters. And uh, yeah, well, and hopefully we can have this support in Android Studio directly, uh, which will make things way much easier when working with Compose multi-platform project. So thanks so much for watching and hope uh, to see you again in another video. And don't forget to like or dislike if you dislike the video and subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comments and see you in the next one.